Welcome, welcome, welcome to Watches Unboxed. We now have the Casio G-Shock Clear Casio reviewed by the local watch guy. Enjoy. I know I promised I'm not going to get another Casio Oak, but I did it again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the local watch guy channel. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, um, I am a watch lover and enthusiast as well as a collector. I've been collecting watches um, since around 2018. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like down below as that will help out the channel quite a lot by supporting me um, in every single way possible that you can imagine. So without further ado, let's get straight to the unboxing and see what's inside here. All right, it comes with this little thing to show you how to pop the watch out. I guess it's not needed. A little booklet too, model number. We don't really care about that that much. I'm guessing this is the warranty card. Yep, international warranty. I believe it comes with one year warranty. And then the watch itself. Very nice packaging. We're all used to this. I've made an unboxing video of the gray Casio Oak that I purchased and um, it did really, really well on YouTube. I was surprised as to how many people really love that watch worldwide. So I thought to myself, uh, why not get the you know, famous clear Casio Oak that everyone's been talking about in my comments. And I've been seeing a ton of pictures of it on my Instagram. And I'll be leaving a link in the video for the previous um, unboxing. And voila, there we go. I believe the reference uh, tag fell off. So as you can see, it is the GA2100 SKE7ADR, a very long and boring name. These are the features of the Casio Oak, shock resistant, 200 meter water resistance, double LED light, world time, the second stopwatch, a daily alarm, as well as a timer. We all know what it does, but if you've owned multiple Casio Oaks like myself, I did not get this for the features. I am just extremely in love with the transparent um, bracelet and how see-through it looks. It kind of resembles, you know, that watery kind of look, but this is an absolutely good looking Casio Oak. So why did I get this? Honestly, I told myself after the great Casio Oak, that's it. I'm not going to get any more. I have a ton of the same watch, you know, just in different uh, colors, but this one, I just couldn't stop myself from getting a new one. It is absolutely beautiful. Guys, um, let's put on the wrists and see how it looks. Extremely comfortable, um, super see-through. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the transparent case back just gives this watch, you know, it's almost as if you're wearing nothing. Um, the black dial is also uh, pretty cool looking. Honestly, this watch just amazes me. It's really, really simple, but then again, it's quite unique in the terms of presence of how Casio thought they could make the bracelet see-through. And I believe they made a whole different line. Um, the one with the square and the Casio Oak, the octagonal shape. And I believe they also made the um, round one. I'm not too sure, but these are the models that I saw. But the Casio Oak is obviously my all-time favorite G-Shock. Now, those of you who aren't familiar with the Casio Oak, you should just know that this watch not only looks good and is pretty stylish, but this thing is as tough as nails. It is a pretty, pretty heavy duty watch. Um, G-Shocks are known to be pretty shock absorbent and pretty strong uh, in every aspect that you can imagine. But you need to know that G-Shocks were also known to be bulky and extremely thick. However, this piece is extremely um, thin in the terms of G-Shock uh, thickness because we're not used to seeing G-Shocks this thin. Obviously, this is a battery-powered watch, so you know it can only get um, a certain amount of thickness. So this is just something a little different about what we're used to in the market. And to be honest, that's what attracted me the most to this watch. It's just the unique features of it, and that is why 
I absolutely love this watch. I believe this watch retails for around $110. Um, I'm not sure about how difficult it is to get this watch. However, I bought this watch um, pretty easily. Um, I paid around $156. And I know I paid a little bit above retail, but then again, I really wanted this watch. But to be honest, it is worth every penny. It is a cool looking watch. Um, you can't go wrong with it for its price. And I also wanted to say that this watch has many names, uh, the clear Casio Oak, the transparent Casio Oak, the skeleton Casio Oak. You can, you know, there are multiple names out there in the market, but we all have to agree on how stylish it looks. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and managed to get a cool uh, macro shot with a new lens that I previously uh, got. And it obviously looks very, very amazing uh, under close ups for the camera. So I cannot wait to show you guys the macro shots of this. So the watch has black letterings around the dial. As you can see, it says G-Shock, light, start, protection, mode, as well as adjust. Let's test out the light feature and see how it works. So you're pretty um, bright display if you're ever in the dark. Or if you're in like, I don't know, the cinema or whatever, you can just simply press this button and you'll see the lights and it will show you the time exactly. So if you go ahead and compare these two watches together, um, we have the gray Casio Oak and the clear Casio Oak to my left. You'll see that the colors are pretty unique. Um, G-Shock has really designed and produced some pretty interesting colors for the Casio Oak, but the Nardo gray was a really popular hit and the clear Casio Oak was also pretty unique and some say this is um, limited. I'm not exactly uh, unsure just as uh, how this was uh, told to be discontinued, which I, then again, I'm not sure of the information, but they seem to be always sold out on the official store. So the only way to get them was through gray market dealers um let's not forget that the casio oak also has loomed hands so you'll see that the uh hands on these parts are um have the luminescent material so if you go ahead and switch the lights off you're going to notice the loom straight away i'm going to take a good guess and say that the transparent resin case back is very easy moddable um, for all those people that uh, love to modify the casio oak i've seen some people made them look exactly like Royal Oaks. And to be honest, I think some of them look pretty cool, but I'm very uh, keen to see on how these are gonna look once they're modified as it's gonna look completely out of this world, um, especially with the transparent resin case. And to me, that's gonna be a pretty unique look. But other than that, guys, just look at that. I'm still impressed by it. Then again, not the most expensive watch, but you know, a good watch is really not defined by its price tag. And it's just something to always bear in mind whenever you're buying a watch. But to me, this is an absolute beauty. My only fear from this watch is that it yellows over time simply because um, I don't know if you've seen the video of my Swatch Big Bowl Jellyfish review and it is a completely transparent uh, watch with the bracelet as well as the dial it has a skeletonized movement of the quartz uh, battery. But I hope this watch doesn't yellow, you know, as fast as it does. I'm probably going to wear this quite frequently. I recently got it, so I haven't had that much time to wear it. Another cool feature of this watch is the stainless steel case back as well as the quick release pins on both sides. So you can change this bracelet pretty easily. Um, you can also push the pins out here to replace this. This is a steel buckle. And then again, as I said, a very easy watch to modify. So the size of the case is obviously uh, 45 millimeters in diameter. The weight of the watch is 51 grams. It has a mineral glass as the watch face. Um, 200 meters of watt, water resistance. Um, it has the world time feature as well as 31 time zones. So 48 cities and coordinated universal time as well as daylight savings. So on and off and home city, world time, city swapping. 
So honestly, you know, the Casio pretty much does it all. Another cool feature that I wanted to mention is that the Casio Oak has the full auto calendar up to the year of 2099. How crazy is that? In terms of thickness, the watch is 11.8 millimeters thick only. That is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, do let me know down in the comments below. Then again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.